was that uh, that rookie season for you, and and um, what did you do here at Purdue that kind of prepared you for it? Well, I mean, it's it's tough to actually prepare for the National Football League, especially as a rookie, because you, you don't know what to expect, and especially with the lockout, not having uh, off the field uh, activities with the team, and um, not being able to get that interaction with the coaches and with the players uh, before coming to training camp was pretty tough. But uh, you know, it was it was overall it was a good rookie season. I'm I'm really happy where I'm at in Washington, and I'm really encouraged by what I saw. Despite our record, I'm really encouraged by what I saw throughout the season for us. Okay, so you are back here at Purdue. Mm -hmm. uh, it surprises some people. I know I spoke with Coach Hope, and he just said, "Oh, I'm so happy and pleased." Yeah. Um, why? Why come back? Well. I want to, in football, we always talk about finishing. You know, you want to play all four quarters. You want to finish in the fourth quarter what you started. And that's kind of the same approach I'm taking to academics because, you know, I started this thing four years ago not knowing I was going to the NFL. And uh, just because I'm in the NFL doesn't mean I can't finish it now. And that's kind of been my thinking. And I, I just want to finish what I started. Okay. Now, talk to me a little bit about the degree that you're pursuing I'm, I'm going into sociology right now. I've, I've kind of bounced around with majors a couple different times throughout my four years here at Purdue. So uh, um, it's kind of ultimately led me to sociology, and uh, I hope to get into to coaching later in life. Okay. Mm. So this has got kind of got a lot more foresight on it. I think some people would say, well, he's in the NFL. He doesn't need a degree, right? Mm. I mean, how do you argue against yeah, I actually kind of have gotten that a lot, and every, a lot of people were pretty surprised I was coming back, but uh, I wanted to come back as early as I could to finish it because they say the further you get away from it, the harder it is to come back. So um, football's not forever. I mean, it's, it's been said numerous times. It's not forever. Your, your, your body can only hold up so long in the National Football League, so you've got to have something else. to. You've got to have a plan for later in life, and uh, I think that's what the degree's all about. Okay. Do you see yourself as maybe – I hesitate to use this word, but an inspiration to some of the guys that are on the team now at Purdue that maybe aren't as concerned about their degree and maybe more concerned about making it in the league. Well, I, I hope so because the National Football League is a very tough thing to get into. And um, I forget what the statistic is, but it's so many people out there trying to compete for so few jobs that it's, it's, it's such a tough thing to get into that, you know, it's, it's very important to have that college degree because that, that'll open up many more opportunities for you. In, in uh, the business world. Okay. So do you plan to stay with the Redskins for a while? Or? That's the plan. I hope so. I, I love it out there. I love my teammates, and I really enjoy my coaches. And uh, I'm, I'm just excited about what, what the possibilities are for the future. Despite, you know, we, we didn't play as well as we wanted to this year. In, in spurts, we played really well, and that's, what, uh, that's what's encouraging. You know, we beat the Super Bowl champs twice. So that makes it a little frustrating. but. Um, you, there's potential there, and we just got to maximize our potential. Absolutely. Now, what was it like coming back? I mean, you had been playing uh, NFL football for, what, you know, six months. You've been mm -hmm. training. You've been going to the grindstone. What's it like now completely switching gears and going back to, I guess, the normal student life? It, it's an adjustment for sure. And, uh, you know, because when, in, in, when, when I'm last fall, when I – would get off work, I'd come home, you know, maybe watch a little film, eat some dinner, and then I'd be done for the night. But now I have homework, I got readings to do, and so the days are just as long, if not longer with now than, than they were during season. So uh, not a typical off season, I'd say, for most people in the NFL, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's something that I want to do. I want to get finished up and um, taking pride in my education. Now, how do you make sure that you stay on par uh, physically off season, you know, while you're still trying to go to class and you have a full course load, how do you? Well, I mean, I got to remember what my job is right now, and that's playing football. So I got to stay in. I mean, getting my degree is important, but I got to remember what's what's extra important right now, and that's my job because I'm I am under contract with the Redskins. So it's my job to stay in shape, to to get better, to make sure I'm taking care of my end, so our team can be successful next season. Thank you, Matt Rector, <laughs> from the bottom of my heart. Does that work? Yeah, that was very nice. <laughs> Any, yeah, is there anything else? Um, Not in particular. Were people, were your professors surprised? I mean, are you, are you seeing some of the same professors that you did see 
in before when you're going through or no? No, I've never had any of the professors I've had right now. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay. But uh, when you're walking around campus, do people say things to you? Do they know who you are? N I haven't had that once, really. I mean, I, my, I think my professors, some of them, a couple of them kind of know that I play football because they, like, some of them have made like references to like athletics with me, but uh, other than that, I'm pretty. I'm a, I'm a student now. Not even a student athlete anymore. I don't. I don't. Get, I still have to go buy my textbooks now and stuff. I don't have the. I don't get to go down to the basement of uh, old little Follett's over there and get my books anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get all the student athlete perks anymore. So it's really. It's I'm a student. a student. I'm a student now. Okay, and mm. you'll officially graduate in May, or do you have more? I'll still have a little bit more after that. I don't know the number, but I'll have a little bit more after that. Okay, so you will be back again. Yeah, I, I should. Yeah, I'm going to try to take a lot of, couple onlines throughout the summer and whatnot so I can kind of speed up the process so I'm not in taking as many classes in this time next year because I'm in 15 hours right now and it's, <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, my only other question would be, do you see um, grad school in the future? Yeah, that's something I'd like to do because... I'd like to get into coaching, so being a graduate assistant would, would definitely be a possibility for me in the future.